What's up guys, Dodgers Randy here, back at the stadium for game two of this three game series against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, we got our man Clayton Kershaw on the mound tonight, so things are looking good for us. Hopefully we take this, our winning streak, and make it, I guess, turn it into a winning streak with three games. Uh, if we come out with a win tonight, Alex Verdugo's getting the start, really happy about that. Uh, so AJ Pollock has the night off. We've got Bellinger, I actually don't, uh, yeah, Bellinger, Jock, and Verdugo all in the outfield. So some big bats out there tonight. Hopefully we can get the scoring off early um, and come out with a win tonight. Uh, do me a favor really quickly, go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button. It would mean the world to me. Um, as always, anyone who watches my videos, I appreciate it, your support. You have no idea how much it means to me. Um, hopefully one day I can try to figure out a way to do giveaways or stuff on here as a thank you to you guys. Uh, but anyways, I went to Food Fest earlier today. Um, it's about th it ended about three hours ago and I'm still kind of feeling all the uh, fullness. I had the 33 items, so I already posted that video. Go ahead and check that one out. Let me know what you guys think. It is pretty long, but it was also 33 items of food, so I tried to do it as quickly as possible. Um, but let's get into tonight a little bit much more important tonight uh, with it being Don Newcomb bobblehead night as well as their, what they're going to be doing for him on the field before the game and the legacy that uh, he had as a baseball player, as a human being, and just as a great man in general. Um, I don't think MLB does a very good job of recognizing what he did along with Jackie Robinson. That's just my opinion. Um, but Newcomb went through a lot of the same stuff that Jackie did. He was in the minor leagues with him. Uh, and he just, he was huge for baseball. He was huge. I mean, just like I said, a great man in general. Helped out plenty of other athletes once his days were over. Um, he was the first black pitcher to start a World Series game during his rookie season in 1949 and won the Rookie of the Year award. Uh, his best year was in 1956 when he won the NL MVP award. He led the league with 27 wins and he had he was in four all-star teams during his career. So he was very, very good. And all-star teams were probably, you probably really had to earn those back in the day. They weren't fan votes. Uh, he even left baseball for two years to fight, and, uh, join the army, serve the army and be in the Korean War. Uh, so he's just, it's sad that we lost him, but uh, I'm glad that he was able to do everything he did and help all the people he did. Um, a big thing about him was he did deal with alcoholism. Um, it actually cut his career a lot sooner than um, I think he had hoped and a lot of people hoped. He, it started to kind of go downhill in 1957 and by 1960 he was already out of the league. Uh, he did recover, became the Dodgers Director of Community Affairs and he helped a lot of other players who struggled with addiction. Um, so it is very important tonight, tonight being about him. So I will do my best to get as much footage as I can. Um, I think a lot of people deserve to see this. It should be on the Dodgers Facebook too. Uh, so you guys can check it out there, but we got to make sure he gets all the credit he deserves. Uh, great human being and was incredible for the Dodgers organization and MLB in general. So we all miss him and uh, I'm, kind of bummed that he wasn't able to make it tonight for his that he wasn't able to be here for his bobblehead tonight so uh hi um would have been cool if he was able to be here tonight when they did this it's part of their legends of dodger baseball so they'll have a couple cool ones out but let me get it out and show you guys really quick because the dodgers absolutely killed it with this one loving this bobblehead one second all right so i've showed you guys all the bobbleheads in the past uh i am in love with this one this thing is incredible it's so good. Um, they took the time to like make it actually look like him. They put a lot of, it just looks like the paint job was done much better than usual. They friggin' even got the creases in the hats because back in the day they weren't kind of, they were nothing like they are today. Form didn't hold around the, uh, the crown of the cap. So this is, damn, this is easily one of my favorite, uh, favorite bobbleheads now. Super cool. So this is it, gotta love Nuke, but I'm glad they did a good bobblehead for him. He deserves it. Hope you guys are able to grab one uh, if you're coming tonight. If not, they will be on eBay, they always are. So 
There he is. All right, so I want to tell you guys something really quickly. If you got a Don Newcomb bobblehead tonight, uh, make sure you download the MLB Ballpark app, open up the Dodgers AR, and scan this picture of him right here. If you do, there will be rare footage of him that pops up that you get to watch, and it's actually really, really cool. Um, not able to show you because I can't have the app open and record at the same time, so I will try to find a way to do it so I can show you guys. Uh, but it's pretty cool. Make sure you check it out. So just to give you guys a, uh, a heads up really quickly, I'm actually going to do the Newcomb Ceremony as a separate video, so it won't be in this one. So if you want to check it out, I'm going to upload that one as its own video, uh, just so that way it's just about him and not the rest of the game tonight so you guys can see that. Otherwise, this one would also be very, very long. So um, go ahead and check that one out if you want. And we're about to get the game started any minute now. Well, we're heading into the sixth inning. So far, offense has done absolutely nothing. They only have three hits on the game, no runs. Um, only struck out three times, so they are, I mean, they're putting the ball in play. They're just not hitting it in the right places. Uh, Kershaw, on the other hand, looks incredible. He's a... Uh, Pitched six innings, seven strikeouts, and no walks, and only giving up the one run. So he's looking good. We just need offense to get him some run support. Uh, pitching too good of a game to lose this one. So hopefully they can get it done in the sixth. He only has he only has 74 pitches. So um, probably where do we go? We'll be going in seven then. So yeah, he could go seven or eight depending on how he's feeling. Probably go seven. I don't think they'll push him if they don't need to. But uh. We just need offense to score, like now. Triple A tomorrow in Rich Hill. Yimmy Garcia is doing way too good to DFA him just to keep Ferguson up, and Ferguson has the options. Uh, I think tonight made that choice a little bit easier. Baez came in with the bases loaded, no outs, and didn't give up a run. He looked great out there. So Kershaw got came out today, looked incredible. Bullpen outside of uh, Ferguson looked incredible. Jansen got that save. And we're on to tomorrow. So hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.